Uh, we're going to be digging into problem F16 from the fundamentals of chapter 6. And this problem is a bit trickier than the, the ones that we've been tackling so far. Um, so this is something that, uh, this is one of the problems that you would want to get comfortable with. Alright, so, you know, we have a, you know, some beam here, right? And then we have a circular, I don't know, some circular rod. Okay. So in this problem, we're going to have to break it down, right? We're going to have to break it down into two components, all right? And then, so let's draw the other one here. All right, so let's draw just the forces that are acting on those two individual components, right? So I'm going to start with C because it has the most forces acting on it, or the ones that are kind of known. So we have uh, 400 newtons here. All right, we have an actual moment already acting on it. All right, there's a moment that's given, so it's not going to be a force. And we're going to multiply this moment times a distance because it's already a moment. Okay. And then, so looking at this, you know this is pressing down, okay? So it's going to be compressing member AB, right? So that's the way I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw it in compression. So it's going to be BY. Let's see. So it's going to be going into the pin, so, and then BX. Okay. And I, oh yeah, and then we have um, I don't know. We have C Y, and then let's draw the X in this direction, C X, just so B X and C X can counteract each other. Okay. So then um, the you know if you go with the book's answer, just as you take it, right? You're not gonna really know where it's where they're getting this 45 degree angle that comes up but it's pretty much just coming up because um, in this a b rod you know if we do the third lock pair so bx is going to the right here so we have to draw bx going to the left here All right and by is going up so we draw by the opposite way All right and then that means that a y goes this way and then AX goes this way okay do if you do the force equations here the FX and the FY you end up getting that BX equals AX equals BY equals oops, equals AY all right and if you do the magnitude at the pins, right, if you do this, let's say AX, sorry, AY over AX, that equals one, so you end up getting a 45 degree, all right? So pretty much this, the magnitude of the reactions at B, right, it's gonna be, let's just call it AB, right at a 45 degree angle okay so this is telling me that at point B over here right we have to draw it the opposite way in compression this is telling me that AB um, has an angle of 45 degrees right whichever way you draw either this side or the other side alright which is going to make it easier because then I have um, you know I don't have two unknowns here I just have AB Right, so I know that BY is going to be AB cosine 45 and then AB sine 45. Okay, and then from here, let's do the let's take the moment equation about let's do a moment equation about uh, C because that's the one two unknowns right so we're gonna do moment about C 
right? If we do moment about B, okay, we're gonna have two unknowns in that one equation, okay? If we do a moment about C, we only have one unknown, A, B, right? Because it shows up on B, X, and B, Y. All right, so let's do that. So let's moment about C. It's gonna be, so 400 times two, right? And this is trying to make it go swoop, negative, uh, positive, kind of clockwise, plus 800, okay, because of this, right? And then we're gonna have uh, BX is pushing it counterclockwise, so it's gonna be AB, you know what, I'm just gonna write it shorter, like this, AB, sine 45, and then what distance do we have here? Or, let's see, you know, what's this distance? Well, we have it as one meter. All right, so times one. Okay, and then by is making it rotate counterclockwise. So minus AB square root of two over two times a distance of three. And I think that's it for that. The forces that contribute moment. All right, so we have 1600. This is three. So if you bring it over to this side, we're gonna get um, two AB squared of two over two, right? Which means that A, oops, which means that AB equals, um, what's that, 1600 divided by square root of two, one, one, three, one, point four ish newtons. I did the math ahead of time, so I'm pretty sure this comes out to 1131.4, roughly. All right, so this is huge. So we already have one big unknown, okay? And then we just apply force equation now. Forces in the X, right? We're gonna have, um, it's, well, it's gonna be one, one, 31.4, so it's gonna be a, a BX, which is AB sine 45, okay, minus CX, yeah, that's it, minus CX. So then that tells you that um, CX will equal Oh, I don't have it written down. Let's see. One, one, three, one point four times sine. Let's see if it does it. Ha! It does it for us. That gives you that gives us what's that? Oh, what the heck? Struggle fest over here. One one three one times sine. My computer is like just running super slow. Nine six two point seven. Okay, at least remember that people. Nine two nine six two point seven. So slow right now. I don't know what I'm doing to my computer. What is wrong with you? Okay, are you are you cool now? Okay. 962.7 newtons. All right. And then in the y direction. Yeesh. So we're going to do that in the y direction as well. So it's going to be. Oh man, I'm going to have to leave it off, it written down, for you guys to plug into the calculator. So it's going to be cy 
you know, going up minus 400, right? So CY minus 400. There's a moment, so we don't include it anywhere. And then plus BY cosine 45. Plus uh, 1131.4 cosine 45 equals zero. All right, and then that's CY. You know, moving everything to that side, you can tell we're gonna get a negative, okay? So it's gonna be minus 1131.4 square root of two or two uh, plus 400, right? And then, you know, that, that'll give us our, you know, plug into the calculator and then that should give us our answer. All right, the main thing to take away is split, first of all, understanding this part, right? Because, you know, if you try to just Google the answer or whatever, um, this is where it's coming from, that 45 degree angle. And also you might see this in, in uh, different problems coming up in, in this section, okay? But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ho hopefully it helped you guys clear up some uh, questions and, uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and comment down below, and thanks for your time.